What's up, guys? Matt here, aka Downey Jr. And uh, today we're bring I'm gonna bring you um, the FSX 2012 tweet guide. Well, my own um, for my system. Um, and what's worked for me, I just uh, it's different from the last years. And I kind of I, I wanted to do this tweet guide because I found some new things. And uh, the game looks right now great for me. Um, even better than last year's, and uh, for some unexplained reasons, but um, I'll tell you what I did, and that's that's going to be my tweet guide to you, and we're going to take a quick run in the uh, San Juan Island Run mission here, which I picked because it is um, pretty graphically intensive, and we're just going to do the quick landing over at the other um, side, and not do the whole mission, obviously, while I talk about this tweet guide and my current FSX setup. Um, obviously, I'm not playing flight. Uh, it's pretty much a glorified demo, and um, the DLC is uh, just not worth the money they are charging. Um, it's don't get me wrong, it's good, but um, not good enough for 40 bucks for that DLC, and then having um, the Alaska DLC around the corner um, for another 20, 30 bucks, whatever it's going to be, not including the planes. So anyway, I'm back on FSX. FSX has everything has all the planes you could ever want and uh well hopefully they don't shut down hopefully they don't shut down the game spy servers as uh, was rumored so let me switch the uh, cockpit view here okay enable track ir probably oops there we go that was funky okay so we're in the d havilan and uh, we're going to start the engines here quick start So, let me go over my, syst uh, my system specs first. I have a Q9550 um, quad core, overclocked to 3.4. That is below the core, uh, generation before the core, the original Core i5, uh, Core i5, Core i7, um, and obviously way before Sandy Bridge. So, I also have 8 gigs of RAM, two GTX 470s, um, which I will make note, SLI is disabled and uh, definitely, definitely always have SLI disabled for FSX. Um, other than that, my gear is the uh, Track IR have head movement, um, as you guys know. And um, let's see here, let's enable the steering here. And CH yoke pedals, SciTech X52, which I'm not really using f for this right now. Okay. So. Let's get on with the tweet guide. I um, last year's video um, did post a link, um, very informative link at AV on the AV Sim forum by someone, and then the other link was a config file that um, a site that outputted a uh, optimized config file, which was very useful. That I am still using, um, and. Uh, that's what I definitely recommend you go to first. Um, obviously, that's part of the tweet guide. The second part is NVIDIA Inspector, actually, I believe, will be obsolete at this point um, because the main difference um, between this year and last year is I have DirectX 10 enabled. And uh, that's DirectX 10 looks a lot better, in my opinion. And. Um, It, uh, I also have light bloom and sh ground shadows enabled. And uh, if you know anything about FSX and tweaking, um, those are very intensive and they, they are recommended to be turned off. But they, um, they're they on and I want FSX to, to, to look as good as possible, um, especially with today's hardware. Um, without any add-ons, because I have, this is no add-ons, this is just regular FSX um, with acceleration, or the gold edition, whatever you want to call it, and uh, it's running great, it's running at 20 to 30 frames per second with fraps on, really 30, and we're probably going to approach 20 when, once we get um, um, up ahead with all the traffic, and um, I switched to DirectX 10. To my surprise, it actually runs a lot smoother than DirectX 9. Even though last year um, you used, we you would use DirectX 9 because uh, with the Nvidia Inspector, 
you would force the anti-aliasing to be run through the video cards as it should. Oh my gosh, she's gonna come on now. Alright, let's hold on for a sec here. Sure. Roger, really the guy's waiting for you on the dock at Lake Union. She's I'll explain how to get to Lake Cushman once you're at the dock and uh, have something to write with. 598, as you probably just heard, you've now got the Friday Harbor run. Got it. 598. Okay, so let's recap here. So, DirectX 10 is enabled. Um, all the lens flare, light bloom, all that little stuff is enabled. Um, graphic uh, settings, I would say output that with the config file, you're most likely going to get max detail. Um, ultra settings with the website that I will link below. Um, NVIDIA Inspector, um, I have it, I do have NVIDIA Inspector on, but um, I just I just don't know if uh, it really makes a difference. Because DirectX 10 um, doesn't really work with NVIDIA Inspector. From uh, from what has been kind of proven and tested. Um, so I have anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering on, enabled inside the game. But um, through my testing, uh, uh, it, it still runs smoother than having DirectX 9 and the anti-aliasing through in NVIDIA Inspector. And I don't know what the difference is now, but I do have 8 gigs of RAM now, so that, that could have helped. Um, SLI definitely disabled, um, but I think I've always disabled SLI. And uh, I don't know if I had the quad core or not. I think I did have the. I probably did have the quad core last year. So could be the RAM. I'm not sure. It could be new drivers. Um, I also have Windows 7 64-bit. Um, regardless, um, and I think most videos that you see um, on YouTube they have DirectX 10 because it, it just it just looks better. That's all it is. It just looks better. And with today's hardware. Um, if you can't run FSX at max settings, um, I can understand why people get discouraged and not want to play the game. Because I would expect, the, I would want to expect the game to run well with the hardware we have today. So that's my tweet guide, guys, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna land here. I don't even know if uh, I have the mission compass off, and I didn't really li listen to her. So I don't know if we're actually picking someone up here. I have a feeling that maybe I'm going to the wrong place. But anyway, uh, let me see if I covered everything now. So config file. Um, it's not a lot. It's not too much. Too much to the tweet guide. Six six Zulu, Roger. Okay. Um, let's see our speed here. Landing. So, um, let me know how it runs on your system. Let me know if NVIDIA Inspector actually still does anything. Um, but that's about it for this. Um, I hope you guys um, make use of the tweet guide and really that site for the... Which I've been using now for, for two years now, three years. Um, and I think it's still relevant. It's a great site. And I would encourage you to um, donate which I sh still need to do um, to that guy who's helped um, ever so many people tweak FSX to their uh, to, to, to run better on their system Let's see are there people here or is it, are they getting picked up by that guy I don't know some people over here let's see let's find out trouble at these uh, amphibious planes
Is there like a break for, for these planes or something? Southwest of here. Take off and follow the ship canal west toward Puget Sound. Just keep flying west over the water and island. All right, guys. Well, you have a good Olympic Sunday, mountains. and uh, let me know if I missed anything. The canal running from north um, to south at the base of the hills. Hope this helps. Follow it south for about 25 miles. And um, when the canal eventually curves east, look to the west, yeah, and you'll see Lake Cushman. Yeah, 2012 tweet guide. Turn west and fly there. No add-ons. The guy's going to is and, a house uh, get at the FSX west running the at max detail. There's a small dock where you can drop him off. See you guys later. West of the canal at the base of the mountains then south along the canal, then west when the canal goes east. Have fun, and don't get lost. Thanks. Kenmore Base out.